here at the Tint Institute, I want to go over exactly how we use the TintWiz inventory management system. for another teaching TintWiz video. This one's specifically gonna be on TintWiz's inventory management system. There is a hardware and software component of this inventory management system, and it has a quite a few benefits, um, especially if you've just been weighing your rolls or pulling film off your rolls to kind of figure out how much film is left on there. Um, this program has a lot of benefits and pieces to it that we're gonna go over. So first off, there is customizable, scannable labels. Um, with your membership, you do get a free printer as well as a scale. And with those two things, you will be weighing your rolls of film and you will be able to print a label that will have the exact amount of film that's left on the roll. That label will also have a QR code, which means that you can easily scan it. It'll pull the roll up onto your mobile device and you can check that roll in and out. So the capability of checking a roll in and out is great if you have an installer that's going out on a job. Um, he can go out, install the film, reweigh it when he comes back, and then that roll can be again scanned and checked back into the inventory in your um, TintWiz app. So we're gonna pull up that portion of the dashboard here. I already have my account set up, but if you don't already, they do have a 30 day free trial for you. And um, we're gonna be focusing on the inventory section right here. So I have a couple rolls in um, the inventory system just to get us going, but we will add a new roll so you can see what that looks like. Another benefit is that you can track your cost per square foot on each roll of film. When we go to click add roll, you'll see um, he already has auto-populated films in here for quite a few brands and products. I mean, it's amazing how many films are in this inventory system, which is great because you can just start typing in a roll like ATC, for example, and it'll auto-populate that film. You can put in the roll width and length. So all of our auto films, um, we're ordering on a full 100 foot roll. So you can input the width right here, input the length right there. So it's gonna be a 36 by 100, for example. And um, tracking this precise information will give you a breakdown cost of square footage. And if your flat glass installer is checking rolls in and out, you can see exactly how much film was used on the job and what your material costs were when he goes to check it back in, um, keeping track of your waste and future inventory for an upcoming job with that same film. So going on for these, so you will need the core weight. Um, that will be helpful in um, the system's gonna subtract that core weight from the overall weight. So when you bring a partial roll back into your inventory, it will be able to tell you exactly how much is on the roll. So for the purposes of this, I'm just gonna put a one pound core weight just so you can see how this works. And the full weight, I'm gonna do five pounds. And then the roll cost, I'm gonna put in 250 and you can put any extra notes or details. So you could put details on, maybe it's defects on this roll and it's gonna be a return, or um, maybe you wanna remind the installer that this is um, not a CDF adhesive on here. So regardless of what the note is, you can go ahead and out that there, but it's totally optional, um, not required. So we've got this roll all set up. You can see here, I can click to print a label, which we're gonna show how that um, printer works. Okay, so what we've done and is we've just entered a roll. In this case, it was Vista Ceramic 35. And now we're gonna go print label, come up here to file, print. We can see it's hooked up to the right printer. Press print. And then down here on the machine, it takes just a minute. But what it's gonna do is it's gonna print out a label and we're gonna be able to put it on the box to easily scan the QR code and track the inventory. So there it goes, it's receiving. And there we have it, a nice clean label to be able to track the inventory. If you're not gonna print a label, you can hit done. Up here, you can check the roll in and out. So you can check the roll out on a desktop computer 
or you can scan the code actually on the box and it'll pop up the role and you can check it out. The purpose of that is when you're checking out a role is to, when you check it back in, again, weigh the role, it'll automatically tell you how much is left on the role and then you can check it back into your inventory. So as a manager and owner, um, this is obviously a great tool as well to look at your inventory, track your costs, be able to check your inventory remotely and really see what you have in stock for upcoming jobs without actually going back to the physical storage room of films that you may have at your facility. So I just want to scroll down here and show you guys what the actual label looks like once you input all of the information on your role. And also you can see I've got all of the specs on my role, including the cost per square foot, which is calculated out for you based on the value that you put in for the total roll cost. So this one, for example, broke down to 83 cents based on the information we put in. And if I go ahead and print a label from here, and again, they send you a printer that's compatible with the exact label, label stickers and specs. So you really don't need to figure anything out. Everything comes with the label printer that will be sent to you. And if I hit label, this is what the label actually looks like. It fits right on the box. It has our company information, the exact information on the film, and then it has the width, length and total available square footage, as well as that scannable QR code that I was telling you about, which you can use to scan, check the roll in and out of inventory. And then of course, when we're checking the roll back in, we're going to print a new label and it will have a different available square footage on here because we would have used that film when we go to check it back in the system. I'm going to click over to the main inventory tab where you can see a bird's eye view of all the inventory you currently have in stock. For commercial residential, this is just a great feature because I could quickly search um, if I have an upcoming job, exactly how many rolls we have in stock, um, how many square feet, and what size rolls are available. So you could search that here. Obviously, I only have auto in here, but you get the picture. You can search it and just pops up. Um, another feature that they have right here, if you click the actions drop down, and I'm going to go back to our summary and show you guys. If I hit the actions drop down and I do set per square foot price, this would be great also for flat glass. If you want to say all ceramic 35 rolls, for example, I want it to default to $12 square foot price. Um, the other nice thing is that he has auto-populated information on all of the films. So if you click on view film type right here, it takes you over to the film details, what brand it is, what series, the specific name, and it also has some information provided by the manufacturer on that film, which is really great if you wanted to just send over some quick information on that specific product to your customer. So this is a really nice inventory system. It has a lot of features. It's definitely a step up from what most shops are doing. And in addition to the actual inventory management system, TintWiz has a great um, chat, live chat support if you ever have any questions or need any help. And you can definitely leave any questions or comments on this video if you have any specific things that you need answered. And we will look forward to seeing you on the next one.